guys, what is up? We're back. Now, we're we're back to the sexual induced lemon. <laughs> so, as you might see from Spartan's video, which hopefully, you know, we're kind of like chill with each other and we're working out with each other and all that stuff. We don't have to really compete or be I get in a way, I guess, enemies. Um, hold up. Hold on, let me just lower volume because I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, but anyways, uh, Architect was put in, uh, on the Steam cert, um, stores. Now, uh, it has all the dinosaurs so far. So far, nine playable animals, which, by animals, makes me think that there's gonna be more than just dinosaurs. Maybe, like, Dimetrodon, uh, Tylosaurus, uh, Quetzalcoatlus, maybe. We'll see, but then again, uh, a little educational kind of thing to you. Uh, uh, flying prehistoric animals like Quetzal and Pteranodon are actually not reptiles. They're nowhere near airborne reptiles. They're nowhere. N there's. N they're not. They're nowhere close. There's no third eye. There's no pterygoid teeth. Like I said, with the crocodile people, um, apparent people still apparently believe it's a reptile, but hey, let's keep that out of there. Um, so there might be more than just dinosaurs, and that is super exciting uh, to see what will they add. So they have um, Archaeopteryx, uh, Coelophysis, sorry for butchering Ar Archae, because, you know, my tongue is fucked up right now, and it's kind of like all over the place. I have like a foreign tongue. Uh, Dinonychus, or uh, Deinonychus, fucking Deinonychus, Deinonychus, fucking. I don't know why people get so offended about pronunciation, but by the way, Giganotosaurus is actually pronounced that way. So fight me about it. Uh, Gallimimus, Cetacosaurus, Stegosaurus, Tyracosaurus, Triceratops, and Tyrannosaurus. Now, uh, as I see, you know, if it fucking lets me. All right, I can't see it. Um, so, I see the T-Rex has lips pretty good, pretty good. Um, I think the Velociraptor has lips as well. Same thing with the uh, Coelophysis. Yep. Um, I think that's about it. That's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, we got some pictures right here with uh, some special skins on the maps and all that. There's going to be a desert, a tropical island. And some other kind of like, in a way, region two from an isle. Uh, kind of more like based on, you know, just fuck around, you know, chill with friends. Maybe just s sit down, go AFK, and just talk to friends and chat, you know. Stuff like that. We got a screenshot of a Triceratops and a Juvenile Triceratops with, in the background, Styracosaurus. Um, so. Actually, we got some animations of the Triceratops, Gallimimus that we saw earlier, the Velociraptor, same scene. Uh, we got, this is actually a new scene with a Styracosaurus Triceratops herd. Um, it's a possibility that they could have roamed with each other. N not Probably not in real life. I'm not really sure where they lived. I, I know where Triceratops lived. I'm not really sure about the Styracosaurus, Stegosaurus walking in the canyon, and um, Coelophysis running in the desert. Which I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that Coelophysis would live in a kind of like a desert, more like kind of like a, mm, more like a kind of dry environment with kind of like plants and all of that, kind of like uh, in Colorado if you've been there, just without without the snow. Um. So what we got here? Development a game. Developing a game will with only fucking. Oh, all right. Never mind. Never mind. I was about to waste my time. Oh shit. Oh well. <laughs> it's already here. About this game, the Architect Project focuses on the multiplayer experience, giving you the chance to play with other people and on dedicated servers. Play as one of nine dinosaur species and explore various exotic locations on a map of your choice. Role play with your friends and create your own stories. Or stick on the basics of PvP 
and get involved with deadly fights with other players. Early access games includes three different maps, Sanctuary, a massive map which includes several tropical islands, which I'll think they'll be like a land bridge or like every once in a while the tide will go down so you could go walk across and it'll fill back up again and all that, you have to wait. Uh, Green Valley, a small map for players who don't like exploring and just want to meet up with other people or have less powerful PC builds, like I said earlier. Uh, Aaron Desert, a medium-sized map which represents the large desert surrounded by canyons and several oasis. Fucking oasis. I'm a dumbass. Uh, game modes: Be the dinosaur. Plan content in full game. Game modes: Ecosystem. Ecosystem is a game mode which focuses around the creation and maintenance of animals in an environment designed by the player. Unique items can be placed to create a detailed habitat that can effectively satisfy the needs of each animal within your ecosystem by generating in-game points. Manipulated the DNA and genomes can fucking drastically change the appearance, behavior, and stats of dinosaurs in your ecosystem, like on the green lit page. Sandbox. Sandbox allows players to push boundaries of their creativity with all the game's content unlocked. Kind of like, you know, the aisle, you know, sandbox, everything's already there. Of course, pretty soon you have to buy or earn your skins, but hey. Be the Dinosaur. Be the Dinosaur allows darn it. Fuck. Oh my god. I'm done. Hold up. Alright. Be the Dinosaur allows players to roam free within custom and or pre-made maps as one of several animal types. This game mode can be customized to support a survival experience involving a dynamic thirst, hunger, and health system, AI creatures, and more. Now that's really, really cool. Personally, I can't wait for Spinosaurus. I'm not really a fan of the model that they went with. But Spinosaurus to me is a uh, interesting animal. It's more unique than T-Rex in my in my defense. It's just so different from everything else. It's so like strange and bizarre. It's so interesting that something like that existed. It's crazy and cool. So this, despite my poor sense of reading um, this got this is actually on uh, the store and it will be released uh, on April 28th which I think it's on the Friday you know but of course I'm about to be a dipshit and check my calendar on my phone because I'm a I'm a dumbass all right what we got here da, 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 da. nope nope how come I don't have anything all right, calendar, 25th. So, yeah, 28th is Friday. And I'm also getting some other game, uh, kind of like uh, H1Z1, but like Cult Unknown something uh, on Friday as well. So it's going to be like a double trouble kind of thing. And I'm going to have to spend one time over the other and all that stuff. So it's going to be crazy cool. I honestly can't wait. I wonder how much it costs. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's cheap or free, but I don't really think it'll be free, you know, especially how much effort is put into this game, um, which is kind of disappointing, but hopefully it's cheap enough for me to, you know, at least like $15, hopefully. Uh, we'll see, but yeah, I'm super excited to unlock this. It's just two days, approximately two days, but it's just, it basically shows what's gonna be tomorrow just pretend today's tomorrow and there you go there's your answer um so yeah I'm actually super super excited for uh for this game to come out um so so apparently I'm not signed in oh yeah I'm, I'm on Firefox so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace out. See ya.